we have down in here a micro USB socket and we have here my old trusty laptop with APM mission planner on so I shall see if the two can work together the uh, driver software battery on it, the props are off uh, I don't want to do any updates right now Okay, at least that shut the beeping up. Um, just note, I've plugged the battery in, props are off. Very important. Now, a real thing is to see if I can get uh, this to talk to it. Let's see if I can find the... Uh, Oh, COM10, we can see an Arduino Mega on COM10. That's interesting. Let's connect. And it is indeed, just zoom in there, downloading all the parameters from the flight controller. Now, under no circumstances do right now do I wanna mess around with um, with new firmware, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. Just gonna have a look, see what we've got on flight modes. Um, you can see them programmed in there on the uh, on the flight modes. If I switch the transmitter on and flick the switches, you'd see those going RTL, altitude hold, um, and loiter. And there's also here, you can see one that's ticked, shows the loiter with, oh, I can't focus. <laughs> oh, I can't that focus on there. Anyway, you can see one there that's ticked um, in the simple mode. That is the heading hold mode, which is uh, uh, more commonly known as simple mode in APM terms. You've got extended tuning. Um, worth uh, making a note of those figures there. Uh, just in case you mess it up and have to go back. But well, this is the one we really want to look at is the compass. And if you see there, so hopefully it'll focus properly. Auto deck is enabled. What this means most likely is that we can um, manually set the, uh, um, do a live calibration on the compass here, you, you need to research the live calibration process for an APM 2.5 or 2.6, the same process. Um, so calibration dance you have to do, which is a bit weird. But then once you've done that, you should be able to turn off auto deck. And then that will should eliminate any erratic behavior of the compass. Here, yeah, for those good. of you that don't know, obviously this is uh, picking up um, Google Earth. Um, and you can see, uh, you can change all any, from any type of map you want. You've got the Google satellite map and, uh, and countless other maps you can choose from. And, uh, and you can click and set waypoints. What you can't do, unfortunately, I don't think the, the inputs are on the board in here for things like telemetry <coughs> and stuff. I don't think it's got the I2C ports anywhere but that's going beyond my technical knowledge and skills i'm sure somebody out there will figure it out quickly to show you uh, that um, the ground station is reading the uh, data from the quad you can see if you look in the top left of the monitor and the figures on there you can see as i tilt and move the quad around um, you can see its heading change and uh, uh, I keep pulling the <laughs> I keep pulling on the USB cable and disconnecting it, but you can basically see there that when it's plugged in, it can read the uh, uh, the information from the accelerometer. I keep accidentally tugging on that um, rather crap USB connection I've got there. So it's not the it's not the unit itself. It's the shroud around here doesn't allow it to push in all the way properly so it's only just about in there anyway um, there we go 
3.1.1. Right, so that's a fairly late version, if you can see there. It's running 3.1.1. I shall take a, a photo of that as well. Okay.